Let's start heading to your seats and get ready. So start heading to your seats and quiet down. So, all right. Uh, should I start? All right, everybody, let's start heading to your seats and quieting down, and we'll get started. I'll do a brief opening presentation. Uh, I know that everybody here is eager to start hacking, so I will try to keep the opening ceremony as brief as possible. But I do have to go over some rules. All right, and feel free to use these seats up here. We have more chairs up here that we put in the middle to make it uh, so that you guys aren't so far away from me. Uh, <laughs> All right, welcome to Fun Hackathon Weekend 2024. Yay! Applause, applause for applause. My name's Kevin, but you can call me Turbo. And this is the second year in a row that I've hosted Fun Hackathon Weekend here at the Hacker Dojo. And uh, I'm super excited to be here. I think everybody's going to have a great time, but I do need to go over some of these rules really quick. I'll try to be brief because I know that you're eager to form teams and get to work and start building stuff. So uh, this event, one of our sponsors is Kindred or Kindred Networks. So I don't know if Kevin Liu is here yet, uh, but he'll definitely be here sometime this weekend. Um, but he's the founder of Kindred and he'll tell you more about it. But Basically, it's a startup, and they're based out of New York, and they build software for other startups. Uh, so they are helping us pay for tonight's dinner. Yeah, yeah round of applause. And also, also somebody from Red Bull might be here later, is what I was told. He's already here. Oh, they're already here. Excellent. Perfect. Amazing. Uh, we can introduce. Do, do they want to come up now? Um, but, uh, I'll just talk about the Hacker Dojo for a little bit. So we are a nonprofit uh, registered 501c, um, and our mission is to create an inclusive and accessible community for tech enthusiasts to learn, play, and build together. Uh, and. Um, but it's really hard to keep this space running and working, so I need everybody's help. I need help doing things like um, keeping the place clean and whatnot. So what is your motivation for being here? I'll tell you, because I, because I know. It's to increase your skills, make friends, have fun, learn stuff, and gain experience. Uh, a little bit about me, I'm a full stack soft web engineer at Apple. Uh, but I've been in California for 12 years working at various companies. Once a month I host the Computer Programming Club, which is in that classroom over there, and we just talk about programming and programming languages. And I listed some of the things that I like, such as karaoke, chat GPT, and making playlists and stuff, and wearing a tie. Um, also with us tonight is Ash. Do you want to introduce yourself in the microphone? Yes, sure. So Ash is my co-host. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. Um, my name is Ash. I'm currently a software engineer at Microsoft. I've been in California for two, oh, for two years, um, originally from Canada. And yeah, I like working out, playing soccer, reading, and hacking on cool projects. And yeah, I'm excited to be here. If you guys ha ha have any uh, questions, I'm just going to be seated, seated right here. Um, you can, yeah, just come talk to me about anything. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, thank you so much for helping out, Pat. Um, so here are some things you can do to help uh, the hackathon. You can help us keep the space clean, uh, be excellent to each other. Um, tomorrow night, we're going to use the charcoal grill. So if you want to bring like hamburgers or hot dogs or any other food uh, to grill, then we can uh, we can help you grill that tomorrow. Um, 
But yeah, definitely, I want to make sure that everybody has an amazing time. So uh, try to be really wonderful to each other and try to make sure that everybody around you is having a great time. Um, also, like I mentioned, there's going to be other stuff going around at the dojo at the same time. So for example, tonight there's a book club where they're discussing uh, theoretical computer science. Uh, tomorrow there's going to be a meetup for front-end web developers. So we just have to be respectful of other people coming in and out. Um, but also, you can, if, if you're a member, you can host your own meetups here. So that's a good way to help out the dojo is by hosting events or just sharing events on social media, or you could help us raise money. And you can also become a Hacker Dojo member. A lot of the events and meetups here don't require you to be a member, um, but it's still good to be a member because that helps us afford this office space. So um, I'll write this down somewhere, but the Wi-Fi you can use, the network is Hackathon, and the password is Hacker Dojo 2024. Um, so I'll give you a second to take a photo of that. Uh, but it's pretty easy to remember. It's just Hackathon Hacker Dojo 2024. Let's see. Um, so I'll go over some rules. Six to eight participants per team. Every participant must attend in person at least one day of the weekend, so that way you're not fully remote. Uh, to submit your project, you're going to use this website called DevPost. So I think every participant probably should have an account on DevPost. And uh, we have a page, an event page on DevPost. And then uh, on Sunday at 3 p.m., we're going to start demos. And each team is going to have like five to six minutes to demo what they did over the weekend. So uh, we, want, we want you to make it clear to the judges what you did over this weekend and what you uh, sort of work you did before this weekend. Uh, because we want to give you bonus points for like um, doing a lot of work during the weekend as opposed to just bringing in your startup that you've been working on for the past five years. Um, but we'll kind of know if you do that. But we'll ask you what you did over the weekend. Um, every project must have a tech or engineering part. Every project must be appropriate. Um, the theme is to pretend you are forming a startup and the judges are investors and your goal is to convince the investors to value your company's stock highly so that when they invest in your startup, uh, you get a good deal. So the, I've asked the judges who are going to be here on Sunday to give grade each project on a score to 0 to 100 where 50 points is engineering and 50 points is business. So that could be the business plan, the pitch, the deck, um, anything. It's kind of, it's kind of purposely vague because um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to give like a very specific rubric. I wanted to purposely give a vague rubric of engineering and business. But definitely the theme is business. Um, and, uh, we can try to help you form teams. Uh, that's probably your goal for tonight, is to find a team. Uh, we can also have you come up to the microphone and pitch your idea uh, so that you can help, you can find teammates that way. So you'll have 60 seconds to pitch your idea into the microphone, which is not a lot of time, but it'll uh, help things move along. Uh, by participate by coming up on stage, you're consenting to having your likeness streamed and recorded to YouTube and Twitch. So right now we are live on Hacker Dojo's Twitch account channel, um, but we'll, we'll record it and put it on YouTube too. Hopefully, we're doing a local we're doing a local recording as well, which means that the file is being saved to the computer before it's being sent to the internet. Uh, legal fine print, we don't claim ownership of any of your intellectual property or your code. You don't even have to share or publish any of the code you write here this weekend. Because um, I know some people are, are very sensitive about um, sharing code that they write. Um, and that's pretty much it. So um, we're going to have pizza tonight. Tiana's getting a bunch of pizzas. Um, if you want to donate money, so um, 
we're going to have a tip jar where you can donate cash. And we also have like a QR code to donate money um, because we need money to cover the cost of food and prizes and stuff. So any, any money that we make from donations beyond the cost of food will go towards additional prizes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not trying to make money off of this. I'm also trying not to lose a bunch of money off of this. Um, so definitely donate money. We also have a Discord uh, for the event, and I'll be posting announcements in there. Uh, and uh, there's a link to the Discord on the meetup.com page and on the dev post page. Let me know if you can't find it. Um, do, are there any other questions or things that I missed? Um, I'm sure there's a million things, but that's fine. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to try having the first like five people give a one minute pitch, and we'll see how that goes. And then if it's going well, then we'll let more people <laughs> pitch. <laughs> and then uh, you guys can all form teams, and we can try to help you form teams. And also, there's, there's people around the dojo that can mentor you. So if you or your team are struggling, uh, don't hesitate to ask for help, because there might be somebody who has time and energy to mentor your team or help you out with something. But I'm sure you're. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of really cool projects built over the weekend, and it's going to be really amazing. So let's have a round of applause for all of you for attending. All right. So now we got the boring stuff out of the way. Does anybody want to pitch their idea for a project? Let's have five people come on down and line up. You don't have to raise your hand. Just come on down over here and line up um, to the side. And then we'll go one at a time. So introduce yourself and introduce your idea for a project. And maybe you can, maybe some uh, people will want to join your team. Maybe nobody will want to join your team, and you'll be forced to join somebody else's team. And that's okay too. You'll probably still end up having tons of fun. How much time do I have to pitch? Let's say like one minute. Thirty seconds. One minute. One minute. Okay. I'll keep track. A New York. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Max Soren. Uh, quick introduction. I'm a software engineer. I work 200 feet that way at LiveWire. Um, and I have this billion dollar idea that I think you guys want to be a part of. So everyone's heard about heard of Airbnb. Everyone's heard of Turo. If you haven't heard of Turo, it's the same thing as Airbnb, but it's for vehicles. And I have this, uh, this idea that I'd like to do. It's the peer-to-peer -peer rentals of recreational equipment. So imagine you go up to Lake Tahoe and you want to rent a kayak. There's no, you can rent from a business, but you cannot actually rent from a, from peer-to-peer. -peer. You want to rent a boat, again, rent from a business, you can't rent peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, just to put cost into perspective, uh, a, a boat at Tahoe is about 400 bucks an hour, four to 600 bucks an hour. Uh, a jet ski is like 170 bucks per hour. Currently, nothing like this exists on the market, and I think it'd be really, really good for, um, I mean, one, it's, you know, it's just software. We don't own any assets. We just provide the service. People meet up. Um, liability, that's a different question. You know, I'm not a lawyer. We're software engineers here. Um, so, it's my idea. If anyone wants to join, let me know. Um, you have a teammate here, Kayvon. We're in the same master's program, too, so thanks. Uh, hi, my name is Gavin. I'm a software engineer. Uh, I don't have an idea, but I want to work on something. I'll write stuff in TypeScript. I'm into uh, retrieval augmented generation, you know, the language model stuff, even though apparently if you put AI on it, it decreases intent to buy. So we won't mention the AI if we're using AI. Um, also, uh, I like doing front end stuff. I really don't like chatbots that's so played out. So if you want it to like look good and feel good, like that's the kind of work I want to do. Anything using uh, like audio microphones, transcription, hardware, stuff in the room, listening to things. I'm not even, these aren't even full sentences anymore, but uh, I'm available to write code. Oh, I like doing stuff like fact, fact checking is interesting to me. No, I got 10 more seconds. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess games are interesting. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Bye bye. I'm going to go. 60 seconds is a long time. Yeah. Uh, don't be afraid to make chatbots or use AI. I love chatbots. Yeah, just don't invite me.
<laughs> um, so we're going to take a little ad break because uh, Red Bull is partnering with the Hacker Dojo. Let me let me stand on stage so that I'm in camera. Uh, so we're going to hear from Red Bull uh, for a little bit, and they'll tell you what they're working on. I think they've got this basement program that they can talk. So why don't you come on stage and introduce yourselves? And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here. You can take the microphone. I'm Alicia. My name's Christian. And we're here to talk to you guys about this campaign we have going on called Red Bull Basement. Um, I know that all of you are here today because you are very intelligent and a lot of you have very cool ideas. And we would like you guys to enter in our competition called Red Bull Basement. Uh, basically, it's a global uh, competition where you enter your ideas, just like a short pitch of something like an idea, an innovative idea that can change the world and affect it in a positive way. Um, I believe top 10 are going to be sent to MIT to further develop your ideas with some of the brightest minds in the country. And then the top idea from MIT actually gets to go to Tokyo and develop it even more. So yeah, and plus if you enter today, we are actually raffling away six Red Bull hats um, to you basically just have to um, generate a, a one-page pitch, and I believe you can get it printed somewhere. Someone will help you print it out, and then if you just bring that to us, then um, we'll be entered. You'll be entered in the raffle. Um, what else? Um, the winner from Tokyo will also be sent to a three-week exclusive trip to Silicon Valley and LA to try out all like this new AR and VR equipment. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. Um, we also have our iPad here with QR code if you want to scan it, or if you have your computer, search up redbullbasement.com, go to the uh, United States section. All the questions uh, you may have will be answered there. Yeah, and please note that for um, Red Bull Basement, it is in groups of one to two. So that does mean that if you have like a group of six, six to eight or whatever, then you're gonna have to probably split up and submit multiple ideas. But we encourage you to submit multiple. You can submit as many times as you want. Um, if you don't have an idea that you love right now, you can always submit something for now and you can edit it later. Um, unlimited to, uh, submissions. And if you don't have an idea, we actually have an AI tool on the website that can help you come up with stuff. And it's really cool. It can like generate an image for you. So yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, uh, we'll be coming around with our QR code on the iPad and we'll help you sign up and answer any questions you have. But yeah, thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. And uh, you can send me the link that the QR code goes to, and I can put it in our Discord. Yeah. And uh, yes, Red Bull gives you wings. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's amazing. Um, you can, you, you can, uh, so definitely submit lots of ideas to the Red Bull Basement Initiative, and, but if, if you don't want to, you don't have to submit your idea. So you can still participate in the hackathon without submitting your idea. So let's go to the next one minute pitch. Thank you, Turbo. Hey everyone, my name is Jay. I'm a software engineer. Uh, so the idea I have is that nowadays we all, we all take a lot of photos and videos, but most of the time we're just sitting in our, uh, in our album and taking up our storage, not really doing anything. And uh, we want to you know, look back uh, they're super tough, uh, time consuming to edit and make them shareable. So I was thinking it's going to be very nice if I have an app that can automatically turn these photos and videos into more shareable uh, content. They can be like stylized photos or a short video that tells a story. Uh, it's a very big scope project. So I'm thinking maybe we can tackle like a small piece of this uh, idea uh, during the hackathon. I'm looking for developers, designers, uh, really, just people with open uh, with an open mind trying to uh, learn something over the weekend, and yeah, that's it. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Sergey, and I'm not so smart as uh, previous guys. So my idea is uh, energy diary because I want uh, to communicate, and in general, like I love people who has uh, that type of energy. I call it why not energy. So it's the most passionate people in the world because they do not because of they have to or why, but why not. So and Red Bull, it's a life. 
the Red Bull it's energy. So during that hackathon we will it, we will set up a small diary for just you know like make notes about your level of energy uh, for today, for example. But in my um, whole vision, like helicopter view vision, it's to create community of people who has a lot of energy for life and they do a lot of stuff not because of why or they forced to do something but why not they go travel they i don't know they dance they drink they do anything because of why not energy join my team hi everyone good evening happy friday just like our two hosts i'm also into working out just want to get it. so my idea is uh using ai to build chatbots but not just text chatbots, it's going to be like a voice agent, right? So imagine you're like a busy restaurant. During lunch time, during dinner time, you're going to get a lot of calls. But only one person can answer take calls one at a time. But if you have an agent, it could be 20 people calling at a time. Uh, same thing with like a hair salon or like a, like a dentist office. You can have, instead of someone just answering the phone, they can do their job, and then there's going to be an AI taking appointments. Uh, rescheduling appointments, things like that. Uh, that's basically it. Hello, uh, my name is Kevin. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer. Uh, any electrical engineers here? One. <laughs> um, at least I'm not alone. Uh, my idea is uh, a little bit of a fun one. Uh, I'm. My goal uh, is to create a game where we can get AI agents to fight each other. Uh, but not physically. Uh, I aim to get these AI agents to play any uh, game, such as chess, checkers, uh, maybe tic-tac-toe even. And uh, really, it's more of an experimentation to see what would happen if we pitted 100 of these AI agents together, uh, each owned by a person, and to see who comes out on top. Uh, maybe later we can add uh, other ideas, such as uh, maybe an ELO uh, system or, or even a ladder. Uh, but really, uh, it's open-ended, so if you want to build a game that utilizes these agents to uh, fight, then come see me. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Sabir, and I'm going to high school, and my idea or pitch is with the elections coming up, a lot of articles we read are biased towards one side, Democratic, Republic, or left or right. So I was thinking we could create like a Chrome extension that will be able to detect whether the article is biased toward one side or the other. So this will help. It will help the voters and, and it can be used for anything, not just the elections. And yeah, anyone that wants to join, just let me know. Thank you. Hi, my name is Abhinav Padmanabhani, and I'm a sec uh, sophomore. I'm, go I'm going to be a sophomore at Purdue University. And my idea is related to food and like restaurant related idea. So have you ever been to a restaurant and realized like, I don't know what to order here? So like, I've been there a lot of times. And my idea is that you go to a restaurant and you have a community of friends that you follow. Like it's, it's like a social media food app. So you have a community of friends you follow and you go to the restaurant and you get a notification. And you, when you click that notification, you see all the uh, items your friends have ordered and what they rated. So then it's easier to like decide what to order on the fly. Like once I was like at, at like a very re expensive restaurant and like uh, I didn't want to order something that wasn't going to taste good, right? So I wanted like a friend's uh, opinion. So I decided to call up a friend because um, he's already been there. But like, what if I could already have an app that gives me that information to me immediately? So that's my idea. Thank you. All right, thanks. Okay, so now the fun part, you can all start forming teams and making friends and getting to know one another. Hopefully you make several friends at this event. You can even become friends with people who aren't on your team. Uh, 
and uh, we'll have lots of pizza and food and stuff. So definitely reach out to me or Ash if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, the bathrooms are in the back. They're kind of like camouflaged with the wall, uh, but they are there if you look closely. Um, and that's all I have. So I will, um, that's it. So thank you so much for coming and I hope you all have an amazing time. This was like a lot of work for me to set up. So, uh, but so I'm, so I'm really glad that people showed up because I think it's a lot of work. Yeah, I'm expecting more people. Yeah, probably tomorrow.